The best part actually though about making a quiche is now all these beans are so hot. Dipping your fingers into warm beans from the oven is like wrapping yourself in a towel that came fresh out of the dryer when you got out of the shower. It's magical. You know, it's, it's kind of hot too. <laughs> Hi, I'm Faraday, I'm the culinary director at Munchies, and today we're going to be making a chip and dip quiche. A chip and dip quiche is kind of a weird brainchild I had. I wanted to do some kind of like a, an egg thing with chips. And I was like, well, well what if we did like a, le a play on leek and potato soup? It was like leek and potato chip quiche. One of our producers was like, what if you made this into like a chip and dip quiche? So if it was like a French onion dip in a quiche, but with potato chips. First up, we have to make our crust. So we've got one and three quarters cup of all-purpose flour. I've got eight tablespoons of unsalted butter. Make sure it's really cold. You wanna keep this in the fridge up until you wanna use it. One and a half teaspoons of kosher salt. And I've also got two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar. Into my food processor, all-purpose flour, my salt, butter. This is a whole stick of butter, eight tablespoons. Cubing it up like that, it just allows it to be evenly dispersed. And I'm gonna blend it. So basically you're gonna blend it into like nice little pea crumbles form. And then motor running, and I'm gonna add apple cider vinegar, about two teaspoons worth. Adding apple cider vinegar to crust makes it a little bit flakier as well. Six tablespoons of ice cold water. So I'm gonna stop it. You can see the dough's kind of formed already into a ball. I'm gonna take it out now and knead it the rest by hand. Nice little ball of dough. There we have our dough. And I'm gonna form it into like a little disc like this. And then I'm gonna wrap it in plastic wrap and just refrigerate this for about a half an hour. If you just wanna make this dough ahead of time, you can make it and then freeze it or keep it in the refrigerator for probably up to five to seven days. This is our quiche dough. It has been in the fridge for about 30 minutes or so, so it's a little bit harder. The butter is kind of solidified in there. The point is you want the butter to be kind of solid because that's gonna end up having a flakier crust for you. Throw down a little bit of flour. I'm gonna flour up my rolling pin as well. Just give this nice little beating. This takes out all of your aggression. If you've had a hard week at work like I have, you just come home and you bash it out. So I'm gonna roll this out into kind of like a 12 inch circle. It's gonna be pretty thin. It's probably gonna be about an eighth of an inch thick or so. Just feel it, it's looking pretty good. A good trick, this is goes with like quiche dough, goes with pie dough that you can do, is to then roll your dough back onto the rolling pin to lift it up kind of, put it there, and then you can just roll it back on just like that. And then I'm just gonna form this into tart pans. It's one of those, um, like a fluted edge, and it's nine inches, and it's got a detachable bottom, so it makes it really easy for it to come out later. There's so much butter in the pie crust that you don't need to like grease your, your pan. It just lifts right out, so it's not a problem at all. Run it along the top. Just gonna fill in this little hole. Patch it up. What I'm making right now is something called a cartouche. So you can take a piece of parchment paper, fold it in half, then in half again, and then we're gonna fold it again and again. You just keep folding it the same direction on itself. And then what I can do is, so that's gonna be the middle, and this is the outside. So I'm just gonna trim it right to about there. What I have is a beautiful circle. But first I have to poke some holes in my pie crust with a fork. And I've got some baking beans to blind bake it with. And this is also why you're putting weights in your crust as well, because you don't want it to puff up while it bakes. And then I'm going to put my cartouche right in the middle and then just fill this with beans. Get them right to the edges. And then I'm just gonna refrigerate this for about a half an hour again, because as it's been out, my dough needs to rest a little bit longer. My dough has been in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes. I'm gonna take it out, blind bake it for 15, 20 minutes at 375. While the crust is baking, we're gonna make the filling for the quiche. So it's a very oniony filling, kind of like French onion dip. So we're gonna have a mixture of three onions in there. We've got just normal yellow onion, like a bunch of scallions, about a pound of leek, three eggs, a little bit of flour, a few tablespoons of unsalted butter, half a cup of milk, a half a cup of cream, some sour cream, Gruyere cheese, and potato chips. Hmm. We're gonna cut up some onion. You can slice this or dice it. I feel like sometimes I slice it, sometimes I dice it. So this is about six scallions. 
trim them, thinly slice their scallions. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect because these are going to cook down. Put those away, add it to my pile. One leek, I'm going to trim off. You want just the white part only for the leek. So I'm going to slice it in half. So leeks can be really, really dirty. You just want to make sure that you're going to give this kind of like a rinse. Same thing with the leek. It doesn't matter how you cut it. Just like thinly slice it and stuff. I'm going to add my butter into there. Let that melt. My pan right now is on medium. I'm going to jack it up to like medium high. All of this into here. Let that coat itself in butter. I'm going to add a little bit of salt, but the salt helps release the moisture so that they sweat. While that's cooking down, I'm blending up my milk and cream, so half a cup of each, and then three eggs. I just put in there about one and a half tablespoons of flour. Flour kind of makes the custard part of this and like blending it, it makes it a little bit more silky. Everyone thinks that quiche was invented in France, like the quiche Lorraine, but actually, from what I heard, the origins lie in Germany, not in France. So I'm just gonna let that cool. I don't want to add that to my custard base while it's still hot because it'll make the eggs kind of curdle and everything. The crust for my quiche has been in the oven about 20 minutes. I'm going to take it out, remove the beans, Whoa. and put it right into the bowl. Okay, so that looks good. I'm going to put this back in the oven for another five or 10 minutes, okay? While we're waiting for our crust to finish, um, and my onions have cooled, I'm just gonna finish up the filling. So I've got um, my like custard kind of base here, and I've got about, I don't know, maybe a cup's worth of grated Gruyere cheese. We're gonna add a little bit of pepper, maybe like a teaspoon or so of salt. We're gonna add in all my onions into this. Give it a little mix -a -roo. Look at that. That is gonna be delicious. Looks pretty good. And you can see the crust that's kind of pulled in a little bit on the sides, and that's okay. So it's been in there all up about 20, 25 minutes at 375. And then I'll add this. Now I'm going to dot the top with some sour cream. Kind of swirl it in there a little. So these are just plain like a kettle chip. I like, like a, you could use Lay's or something as well. And then I'm gonna top it with more of the cheese. Maybe just a little more chips on top too. Doesn't matter, do whatever the fuck you want. This is your quiche. I'm gonna put more black pepper. And now this can go in the oven, 325, about 35 minutes. Welcome back. <laughs> I've been waiting, it's been about 35 minutes. Just been enjoying some champagne while I wait. Let's take a look. As you can see, the crust has got a little bit more golden. The chips are nicely popping out of there. The cheese is melted. The eggs have kinda puffed up and everything. So now you would let this cool for maybe like 10 minutes or so. I suck at waiting and I think we should just fucking eat it right now. I'm gonna take this out. The bottom just, it comes right out. It's cooled slightly. I'm just gonna crush some more chips on top because why not? Oh, listen to that crunch. You hear that? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And then I like to serve it with a little bit more sour cream and eat it like this. Think. Oh. It's really good, it's nice and has that onion flavor. It's nice and crispy with the chips in there. The crust is really nice and like and flaky and it's not too dense or anything. It tastes great with this. This is awesome. It's like a classier version of chips and dip. This is delicious. Nothing could make me happier than chips and dip for like breakfast, basically.